Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. I'm Gatesy. This is Falls from Iron, and this is our first pre-match of the new season, although it's not actually technically the season. It's our, our curtain raiser friendly from the London Stadium today against Serie A and Champions League team Atalanta. Not one of the big names I know. It's not a Juventus. It's not an AC Milan. It's not an Inter Milan. Atalanta. We'll get into the nuts and bolts of who they are and who to watch out for and their strengths, their weaknesses and all the rest of it in this prestige friendly where the Betway Cup is up for grabs. The excitement, you could cut it with a knife. And here to discuss it, as usual, is my partner, my wingman, the one and only Mr. Duke. How are you? I, I, I'm... I'm... Still just kind of curious as to how excited you've, you've done, my. <laughs> listen, listen, this is this is live football. This is live no, football. No, no, I, listen, I, I appreciate live football, but um, I'm pretty sure I'm not you going, used the word prestigious. Way. I'm pretty sure you use the word prestigious. Not quite sure that Betway Cup is at that level yet, but I like your enthusiasm. I do. Did you um, did you not notice as I was saying it? I was a bit. Like that. Did you, you didn't clock that one. Listen, listen. What you've just done means something completely different. So, listen. Right? No, no. No, that's your uh, dirty uh, mind. Uh, uh, that's your dirty mind, you filthy no, beast. Yeah, Apologies to anyone that's watching with, a, with a, a, a very innocent mind that has now been filthed by... And for instance, anyone for instance, one, one such person is right there. Look what you've done to this poor girl. <laughs> you've... You've you've sullied her mind. I am very so sorry, Happy. Um, if is especially now that you're probably unhappy because you've now okay, had... Gacy. Can I can I make a can I make a statement then? Can I make go a statement? For it. Yes, go for it. Um, it's, it's been brought to my attention by my esteemed colleague here um, that something that I may have said a moment ago might have been in bad taste. Um, <laughs> I'd like to say right now. Um, honestly, I was, I was not meant to cause offence. And if I've upset anyone or, um, you know, overstepped a line, I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart that I couldn't care less. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for those kind words. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we bring the other, others in? Let's do it. Who we got? Let's do it. OK, so coming in again, one of, one of our mainstays. And here he is. The one and only, the legendary Mr. Andy Miles. How are you, sir? Mate, I'm all jabbed up. I'm all good. I'm all good. <clears throat> and you're, and you're, we discussed this, and you're disappearing at an alarming rate almost. I know, mate. But this is I know. by design. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it just proves what beer does to you. Right. Beer, bread, spuds. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, the only, the only bread I've had this week was um, pit of bread for my chicken shish kebab, but that's all I had. But it's healthy. Fair there you, it's healthy. Right, well, I'm getting myself down to the kebab shop now then. See you later. <laughs> what, what, yeah, yeah. No, not Donna meat and chips like what we had when we went to <laughs> ah, All right, okay. All right, fair enough. Okay, fair point. How are you, though, sir? You, you're all good? You looking forward to this game from the London Stadium? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm like so happy. No, I'm not going. Obviously, I'm not going either. Um, no. Uh, like, like I said, uh, I've had some issues with the ticket office, and I wish, mm. I, I wish you released that video now, mate, because um, they said that we've got the tickets, and they'll be emailed, and they've not been emailed, and now the ticket office are saying yeah. they don't know what they're on about. Oh, really? Yeah, they just said that to All please him. Dickens. Yeah. Ah. If for, for anyone that's watching, because um, obviously we didn't release it um, for reasons that Andy and I discussed, but Andy was um, he bought tickets for the Bet Wake Up today, and something happened. He couldn't go. He was trying to transfer the tickets, and the ticket office basically said we can't do it. And and Milesy was fuming. Milesy was fuming, and he sent me uh, what was it about a eight minute or so <laughs> rant, <laughs> rant of him just basically coating off the sort of like West Ham. Um, coating off the sort of like the ticket office staff, the process and all the rest of it. And a situation, sub once I got that that um, video and I was doing the editing and all the rest of it, and it was about to go out and Milesy got in touch with me and, and the situation had changed and we took the decision 
that it would probably be he would be best served if we kept that one under wraps. Um, however, obviously, it seems that the situation yeah. has, has so moved a couple, other so a couple on, Yeah, so a couple on stories show. Um, there's six. There, there, there's six of us. Well, there's six season tickets between like nine of us basically. So there's four regulars who have got tickets in their name. I'm one of them, and then we've got like two floating tickets because because of work commitments, not everyone can commit. Yeah. So um, obviously, then they the West Ham then changed it that everyone needs to sign in, register an account, blah blah blah, do that. So that's what we've done. So then we I called them up on when was it Wednesday. So can I transfer the tickets over to these people? I, I can't go. On on the ticket, it says, if you've got COVID or any symptoms, you cannot go. So I didn't say that. I went, I cannot go. Four of us, three of us can't go to the game. There's three of us now. Three of us can't go to the game on Saturday because we've got COVID. I didn't say whether because we've got it or isolate because of COVID reasons. And they went, well, if, if your mates want to go, they need to buy a new ticket. We can't transfer. It's non-transferable. But then... The prick sent me a message yesterday saying I can upgrade to VIP if I want to go. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So isn't it? I can upgrade my ticket, but I can't transfer it. So, yeah, so did you upgrade? Yeah, mate. I'm going in VIP. I can't wait to sit next to David Golden Sullivan and tell him what actually the fucking say, wankers they are. <laughs> you're in the director's box, aren't you? You're, yeah, you're, you're yeah. in the director's box. You're, yeah. So, so, so the people who want to go. So the people who want to go, to be fair to them, we've 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 managed to do it. So Gary. we're so it's I, I've got some of my money back. They've had to buy new tickets, and they're literally sitting next to where we're sitting. They've had to buy new tickets yeah. if they wanted to go today. That is insane. And, that, and we are a Premier League club. Disgrace. Now Premier League club, but sort of like you know Championship ticketing scenarios. But listen, don't don't anyway. belittle the Championship clubs with that game. See there. All right, there's, there's, okay, there's, all right. There's, there's conference. And, mate, in fact, the mate, there's, there's conference clubs that are run better than us at the minute, to be fair. Um, Dartford. It's, it's, mate, they're run better than us. So, you know, mm. um, the, 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 the guys that took um, the guys that took all the shock into bankruptcy and, and, and had to rebuild that club from that from nothing are run better than yeah. us. I'm sorry, but yeah. Yeah, we're, uh, we're, as is a shamble, and, and, and I know we discussed it on the video the other night with the, 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 this... Um, Sheryshev or whatever their poxy names are, Piri Shev mm. or something, Piri Piri Sauce or whatever their names are. Um, it seems like they ain't going to be much fucking better from what I read up and did a bit more, um, did a little bit more looking around yesterday we'll, on my break. And honestly, they don't look like they're going to be much, much better. No. We'll, we'll probably no, touch on that in a minute, but we've we've got someone waiting in the green room, very, yeah, very sure, patiently, 10 minutes into the stream almost, and we'll, we'll bring him in Thank now. You. Making a very welcome return. He's been conspicuous by his absence of late, although he did do a little video the other day for us, which we're very grateful for. Here he is, Mr. West Ham Online, as I live and breathe. How are you, sir? Um, I'm very good. Um, I'm not sure how my headphones are today, but apart from that, I'm very good. But we, we can hear you, mate. It's, it's not a problem. Don't worry about that. You excited about the bet wake up? Uh, not really, but... <laughs> <laughs> do you know what i don't think i don't I think a lot of people it. are because i don't think that the take up on tickets has been anything to write home about from what oh, i've been yeah. led to believe yeah i've heard that it's going to be manic trying to get into the stadium as well when you get there so i mean I'll cross that oh with these qr well. codes so, so west ham online are you going today yeah i am yeah yeah, because apparently that's the reason I, you, you probably heard my rant is because if, if your ID does not match your ticket, you're not allowed in. That's what all this fuss is about. And it's like, yeah. and I, I've got a warning that it could take minimum two hours to get into the ground from... from what? Yeah. Minimum of two hours? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so, so I'll tell you what happened to me. I went on the website originally to oh, here we go. a ticket. Um, I went and got all my tickets and all of that and then they said that my reference number was no longer available so they, okay I said okay um, pulled them up sat in a 40 minute queue they answered and they said um, you need another reference number um, call us back when you finish so I did that I made the new re reference number called them back um, and then they said that you need to book online um, because someone else needs a reference number so I went online made three accounts um, went to buy three tickets, um, 
my friend's reference number was no longer available, so I ended up getting two tickets. Um, so my friend had to call up the ticket office, um, gave them the, his reference number, um, and they said it's no longer available. So in the end, he's not coming, um, and there's only two of us going. It literally is a cowboy operation, isn't it? It really is embarrassing. I, I just don't get, like, as, as we touched on a minute ago, guys, like, we're a Premier League club. Um, Gatesy and I went down to Dartford, um, uh, not Dartford, Ebsley, a few Ebsley. weeks ago. Um, yeah. And they were using QR readers, and you received the, you bought your ticket. Um, you receive the email, um, yeah. they scan the code directly from your phone off of the email that they sent, and you walk through the turnstile. It took Gatesy... Um, 30 seconds. And his two, two of his kids, me and my two kids, there was six of us, and all three of us were one side of the gate to the other side of the gate in less than 30 seconds. Literally, bang, 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 through you go. Um, yeah. I, you know what? If I buy a ticket, right? If I buy a ticket and I have the QR code and I, I can't make it for whatever reason and I forward that email onto Andy so Andy can go, honest to God, what fucking difference does it make that someone else has got my ticket to go to that game? As long as that ticket is paid for. Now, I get they want to keep certain people out of the ground. I, I get that there are people that have been banned and, and for whatever reason, you know, those that wouldn't sit down when they were told to sit down, those that were walking yeah. in with, you know, GSB outshots. I get that people have been banned. I fully understand that. But with the amount of cameras around football grounds these days and, um, you know, automatic uh, face recognition, um, surely it's not difficult to turn around and go, oh, look, that person's banned. Back off. Uh, it's a joke. Yeah. For me, it's an absolute joke. This whole setup is is um, it's thing was, it's just an embarrassing situation. To be fair, we yeah. look we we look so, like a joke. We are a joke currently. So, so this is how they've got money, yeah. As well. So this is the game where they've excluded it from. They put a new policy in, but they've excluded it for this game. So going forward for, on your season ticket. Say, for example, mm. if I can't go and I wanted to give it to you, Duke, you'd have to create an account. But if I want to transfer the ticket for that game to you, they charge me two quid. That's nice of them. <laughs> so, can you imagine oh, 10,000 10, 10, people a game can't go and they yes. want to give it to their mates how much money they're going to make? Yeah, that's ridiculous. No, it, it doesn't come up, Reese. Um, you have to go into your Facebook settings and, and muck about with it for us to know that it comes up as anything other than Facebook user, mate. So, oh, we've got an Atalanta fan in, it seems. Oh, hello. Listen, we'll, we'll talk about Atalanta because, to be honest, they're not one of the, the sort of like the known prestigious names of Italian football. You know, you think of Serie A, you think of. AC Milan, Inter Milan, Juventus, Roma, Torino, Napoli. Sampdoria. You don't, Napoli, you don't really sort of instantly go Atalanta. And yet, and yet, they deserve yeah, an they awful lot of respect. They deserve an awful lot oh, of respect. Okay. Because if you look at it, they've of, of recent years, they've managed to get in the Champions League a good few times. In fact, I think it was two seasons ago, they got to the quarters if memory serves me. I think and last Liverpool, year they got it? to the... think so. Um, I think last season they got to the last 16. I don't know if you know this. They finished third in Serie A last season. They were the top goal scorers. Yeah. They scored more goals than any other team, more than Inter Milan who won it, more than AC Milan who were runners-up, more than a Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, inspired... Juventus, who won the league for what the previous nine seasons and finished mm -hmm. fourth, you know they they finished above them on goal difference. Yes, goal difference. So you know this is a this is a team. This is not going to be an easy easy game, guys. Is it, Duke? No, I mean you just saying there, mate, about the fact that they're um they're they're not as well known as as some of their counterparts. To be fair, um, I. I don't follow a great deal of um I don't follow a great Thanks deal. Thanks for coming, of, Dwight. 
the uh, the, the Italian league, as, as we discussed earlier. And Andy, um, I think you might be able to watch a little bit more of your um, oh, well, uh, um, a little bit more of your, um, German football from next season after it was announced, obviously, that they're going over to um, the Sky. Yeah. Um, so Aren't I don't they? really know a great deal. Yeah, Sky has Sky become the home of the Bundesliga football from next season. And, and the women's football as well. And women's football, yeah. So what the women's um, Super League? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So with regards to Atalanta, I mean, blue and black <laughs> in the Milan kit. Um, yep. But I, I know they had a pretty good, um, pretty good run out. I believe it was Champions League last season. They had a, a pretty mm-hmm. good run out. They got some bloody yep. good results out there. Um, it, uh, the, the lad that's just moved to Spain, I believe, is it uh, Gomez? Um, bloody good player. Very, very good attacking midfielder. Scores, uh, scores yep. a few goals. Obviously, he's left now. So, but that, but that really is um, that really is my limit on 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 that team. Um, I'm not a, um, a if, if I'm honest, Italian football bores me to tears at times. So, um, it's, see, it's it doesn't for me I... now. It doesn't for me now, Duke. It really doesn't. Oh, really? The last... yeah. The, the the last the last thing here, I'll probably say since Conte went back there for Inter Milan, I believe like there's been a, sh- a shift around, and obviously you've got Mourinho in there this year for Roma, and honestly I can see this being so competitive more 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 than what it has been. I might give it a go this season. I might give it a go, but like I say it's had in football in the last probably maybe even the last you know five years to a decade. It's, it's very much just bored, but it is. I've caught you know a few mm. games on on. Um, on the chat on the Sky channels and stuff. So it's um no, it, give me give me Premier League, Bundesliga. If, if if there's nothing else on, I will watch. You know your your Italian, the Spanish, and the French. Um, but those those three leagues just don't they, they don't get my juices flowing. So is that? Yeah, so I've just had a look, gents. So yeah, they got knocked out by Real Madrid in the last sixteen last year, and they played Liverpool in in the group stages. So obviously they they got through, and they had um, they had Ajax as well as as well in their yeah. group as well. So they're, they're no. This push is not going to be an easy game. No, they're ab- this is absolutely not. Yeah, I, I mean, you. Look, I don't know if you know some of. Yeah. The, I don't know if you you guys are familiar with. Um, the players that they've got, but um, one name that springs out in their squad list is Robin Gosens, the German yep. forward winger. Yeah, yep. I mean he 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 looks pretty decent. Um, West Ham online. I mean, sort of like is, for you, is is he their their main man, their star player, or is there someone else that we should be keeping an eye on? Um, I don't think he's their star player, but I think he's very important to their system. And what you've just mentioned mm. on the Euros, I don't know if anyone watched the Germany um, Portugal game in the Euros when Germany smacked Portugal. But for me, he was the star man on that day. He was brilliant that day. Um, but they have lost two of their best players, um, Gomez, as Drew just mentioned, and Romero, who won Serie A Defender of the Year to to Tottenham, unfortunately. Um, but they've got a really good team. Um, a lot of it is because of their formation. They play three at the back with flying wing backs, um, and they create a lot of chances, which is told in the fact that they're the top scorers in the league. Um, Zapata and Muriel, the two strikers, have really good goal scoring records for them. And um, I think pretty much any decent striker, by what I've heard, would have a great return um, in their system because they just create so many chances. Yeah, yes, Zapata definitely, mate. I agree with you on there. He, 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 um, me and Jake were talking it on his show, West Ham Unofficial. If you haven't as well, give them him a follow. Jake's doing amazing things there. We were talking, we were talking last night about him, and I think he scored like for what his previous three clubs in one seat in two seasons. He's already smashed that for for Atalanta as well. So, so no, he's he's a very good player. And I'm just looking at transfer transfer market now and. A load of them are rated above twenty million, and they've also got uh, what's his name, uh, De, 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 uh, De Merrill from on loan from Juventus. Mary Juventus. De Merrell from Juventus, yeah, yeah, twenty eight million he's rated for, and they've just got him on loan, obviously, to replace the defender who's gone to Tottenham. So no, they're 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 not going to be no pushovers. But I've just had a no. look, and I thought I thought they kicked off the same time as us, but their theirs is the week after the twenty, that the weekend week beginning late, of the twenty. Yeah. The twenty first, so we've sort of got 
we're a week ahead of them, so I don't know how fit they are or anything, but we've sort of noticed that the more you get input pre-season, the more competitive it gets. But, yeah, it'll be interesting to see who they pick, but uh, it's what I'm more interested to see who we're going to pick, more, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Dwight mentions there one name that I, I saw in the Euros, and, and he really stood out for me when I saw when I saw him play for Italy, was uh, Matteo Pessina. I mean, he looked, he looked a player. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Um, well, I don't want to say the first one, but yeah, he's in. It says he's what, injured. Trans- yeah, he's injured at the minute. They said uh, on transfer I'm not market. I'm sure what happened with um, Ilicic as well. Do you remember he was scoring loads of goals in the Champions League, and then he took a break through um, depression. So I'm not sure whether he's back yeah. or not. But if he is, I don't know. Dwight, really Dwight bad. might be able to give us a steer on that. If if you're there, Dwight, and you know what the score is with Ilicic, please please come back at us. Um, if you're an Atalanta fan, we'd be quite happy to sort of have your input and, and um, knowledge. Because to be honest, if you're an Atalanta fan, it's obviously going to be more than ours as West Ham fans. So put the link in if he wants to come on and have a talk. Put the link in. Mm, can do, can do. Yeah. Um, Dwight, you want? Do you want to tell you what? Because he might not be comfortable. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I just wanted to put it out there as an option. Yeah, yeah I did yeah, say Dwight. If, Dwight, if you want to. Um, Come onto the uh, onto the stream. Do us a favour if you're on Twitter, go send a send a DM to False Talk, and we'll send you the link on there. Um, you know, if you want to come on, you're more than welcome. If you want to give us a little bit more of an input about your team, we'd be quite happy to um, to have you along. Because as I say, from from our point of view, we don't you know hands up. We don't know an awful lot about them. Um, all right, uh, no, his wife and kids are asleep. Dwight, completely no. appreciate no, that, no, mate, and. And as I say, thank you for coming along. Um, because obviously you're new here because you're an Atalanta fan, just because this is a West Ham channel, don't feel that, you know, don't be a stranger, mate. You know, please, please put a like on the video. And that goes for anybody watching this. You know, do us a favour, put a like on the video and subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell icon for any new content. Just because you're an Atalanta fan doesn't mean to say that you're not welcome here. We welcome everyone. So we're a broad church, aren't we, boys? Yeah. So, um, gentlemen, um, as as for West Ham, we've obviously spoken at length about um, Atalanta, some of their players, formation, et cetera, et cetera. What are we thinking of we're, we're going to be putting out? I mean, do you think do you think we're going to see Declan Rice play or is it maybe a little bit too soon? Are they going to give him a bit more time? Duke, what, what's your thoughts? I think you're on mute. <laughs> and we're live and we're live you should make it up could you um, no I was just saying I, I, I think he might get he might, he might get 20 minutes JC to be honest with you I think he, um, he, he, he it's hard because you, you want to get him ready and kind of match you want to get him match fit ready for, um, for next week um, because you want you're gonna want him to start next week. There's there's no two ways about it. He, he needs to be in that starting that uh, starting eleven for the start of the season. So he's got to be there. I don't, you, you can't you, you know you can't um, over overemphasize Declan Rice's importance to to our starting eleven and how we set up and how we play tactically um, if Deck doesn't uh, if Deck doesn't start. So you you kind of want him there ready for next week. So. I think he might get 15 minutes, uh, 20 minutes. Um, I, I, mate, I couldn't tell you how I think he's going to set up. This, you know, we ain't got no players. <laughs> There's no one in the squad that, we can, that you can kind of make it up as you go. I mean, um, did I, I, I think I read last night or, or, or um, the early hours this, of this morning when... Um, when Andy was asleep and me, me, Gatesy and Jazz were sending um, I was slightly, KO'd, inebriated, mate. slightly inebriated um, uh, voice messages on WhatsApp to each other. WhatsApp, if you're watching and you want to sponsor this channel, let us know. Um, <laughs> when we were, <laughs> got to try, right? When we were, we, I, I think I was, um, I think I was sitting there on the edge of the bed, and um, did I read that Connor Coventry now isn't going out on loan? Did I? Yeah, did I hear this that's, twice? Yeah. Right, that's what I'm that hearing. That for me. That for me is um, that that's 
as good a news as uh, as a signing. I'm not going to lie to you. That for me is as as, as big a news for me as as, as signing. Um, and the reason for that, door. <coughs> there we go. Um, the reason for kind of not going out on loan is. Um, I won't say now it's not so much of a priority because it's still got to be high enough up on the list as a priority. But that's a, that's a CDM that has looked, as Andy has, has mentioned a few times in videos, has looked pretty shit up in, in pre-season. So um, for me, you know... We, he's going to get game time next season. You know, him and Nobes have looked pretty good in that in that um in that centre midfield spot over the few games that they've played obviously together with with Suchek and Rice being out at the Euros. So to be honest dude, um, I think Coventry looks more suited with Lanzini when I've seen him. Like they're, they're well, listen, that was gonna be my next one. You've got Lanzini yeah. who can slot back, aren't you? Yeah. So Amazing. um no and, and obviously then um something was mentioned about um you know You've got Milenkovic looking like he's coming in. You've got um, the possibility of uh, another player uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe next week mm. um, signing. So, um, <clears throat> but for today, uh, four, four, two, um, three, four, two, three, one, six, eight. Well, I don't know. Um, but I've got. A I can't see it being four, four, two. No, well, he'll probably start Lanzini or, or Noble um, in there. You know, Coventry will probably start. I, the back line, because I know Ogbonna, did Ogbonna pick up a knock? Yes, Is he, he looking did. a bit ropey? So you've got yeah, Ogbonna I, I picking up a knock. Me so personally, I said, I, what, I said it on James. I, I can see a back three, because Masawaku's back, my best mate. Um, I can see... Um, I can see a back three of uh, Diop, Dalton, and Creswell, and uh, Masuaku as as the le- as the left wing back, and um, yeah, and Fredericks as the uh, Fredericks as the right wing back. And I said Atalanta from, uh, sorry, I forgot his name. He was, he was an Atalanta fan. I'm pretty sure they play like three four yeah. three. Yeah, I think they play like a three four three. So I think we've got to try and uh, pack out the midfield. And I, I, I'd be comfortable with uh, a Lanzini, a Coventry, and uh, so. Or noble or, or yeah. four now, so, uh, three in there to to be like 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 I call them little Yorkshire terriers, really, at 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 them and not giving them time to play. I tell you what, if I I, I can't see that Reese, I don't think that they'll they'll have the signing through and and he'll be ready to play that quick. Um, I said this it on could be that he's unveiled. I said this. He's I've, unveiled I've, at some point. He could have signed, but we've just not announced him. He could be. We could be doing it today. You never know. Oh yeah, like you said, unveiled. I think. I don't think he'll play though. I reckon he. No, I, I, it could be a bit before the game. You know, they sort of like they're about to kick off. They're doing the introductions, and then they go. Oh, by the way, here's our new centre back, and everyone, you know, everyone in the ground, all twenty thousand or so. <laughs> you know. Give him a round of applause. And he's by the time, by the time they've got into the stadium, it might be six. I've, I've heard that oh. it's as advanced as that. I heard that really? It's not as advanced as that yet. Um, as the Go media are reporting. I think a deal is looking likely, but I don't think it's anywhere near um, what they're saying in conclusion. And there's still personal terms and things like that to be agreed. Okay. Fair enough, because have Fiorentina got, uh, you know, they brought a centre back in already ahead of him, yeah, presumably going switch. out of the door, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. the old man city, the old man city centre back, isn't it? He, he went to Fiorentina, left, and now he's going back. Am I right in that? Is it in the yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think so. But yeah, yeah. Um, oh. The other thing I was going to say though, Gates is I wouldn't be surprised mm. if oh. starts Newcastle. Sorry, say that again. Uh, uh, well, uh... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Lanzini starts in midfield against Newcastle because of Rice okay. to come in back late. I don't know if both of them will start. I, I'm not too sure. And I think Lanzini has really impressed them this season. Mm. Yeah, I'd, I'd be perfectly comfortable with him in the CDM role. I've got to be honest with you. I thought he, he looked very, very comfortable there 
last season when he was put there and everyone was like, oh, my God, what's David Moyes thinking? Another David Moyes masterstroke, you know. Um, obviously, he then got injured. But, I, I you know, if he, if he turns up against Newcastle um, at St. James's Park, first Premier League game of the season in a CDM role, I'd be like, yeah, fine. Yeah. Are you boys, I take it, you're going to be comfortable with it as well. Yeah. yeah, he's an attacking-minded player as well, isn't he? With Newcastle having St. Maximin and Wilson reportedly um, not able to start the game, I see no reason why we can't just go at Newcastle and if St. Maximin and Wilson are on the bench, get the get the result done before they come on. If they have Jeff mm. Hendrick as their forward player... They're going to be playing. They said this last time when we played them. Now, Wilson and St. Mac- and then they flipping played and destroyed us. Yeah. I don't really think really? Play. No, I, don't. I, I think, think he'll do everything he can to play. Yeah, well, he, he loves, loves playing against him. us. He loves, he's, yeah. he's, 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 he's our new Lukaku. <laughs> I do, so yeah. yes. Um, he's our new Lukaku. Um, he, literally, every time the bastard plays against us, he scores. Um, yeah. I've got to be honest with you, boys. I actually think um, I actually think we've looked um, in the, uh, shall we say, in the more competitive of the three season friendlies. I actually think we've looked really good. I've got to say, I thought we looked good against Brentford. Um, and before people start with a rattling off of the um, it, it, it Brentford newly promoted side, listen, they're still a Premier League team. And I still think mm-hmm. we look solid against them. I think we look solid against Celtic. Um, not just um, not because of the goals. Um, um, although that was that was a nice little... Um, Bonus on it. Well, coming coming from one nil down was was quite heartening to see. Listen, wasn't it? We were we were ropey as shit with our passing in the first fifteen minutes, and it was it was shocking. Mm. We were trying to find some some longer distance passing, and it was it was just um, I, I watched it I watched it on the laptop while I was pottering around at work um, on the shift. And that first 15 minutes, I kept, I kept looking up at the screen as I, before I was taking people around the tables. And they're, they're trying a 40 yard pass that's, that's missing someone by 20 yards, you know, going out of play, you know, going, go, giving the ball back. Um, after that, and we settled down, I, I, we were completely, I know the scoreline says we were in control, um, but a scoreline can be quite deceiving. Um, and, uh, but for me, we dominated against Selwood. Absolutely played them off the park. And again, I know the score obviously iterates that. But um, I, I oh, listen, I'm looking forward to this season. And I think if we can go bring in um, at least, well, it looks like there's another two players that are, that are inbound. Um, there looks like, um, you know, we're going to get a centre-back door. It looks like we're going to get a centre-back come through. Um we, we, you know, there looks to be uh, the possibility, and I don't want to drop anyone in it or, or make too much of a comment, but it looks like there'll be someone coming through the door um, Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Uh, I think that's I that's public knowledge now. I think that uh, I, most people know it. So, uh, you know, I really hope, I really hope um, it's it's going to be one of the two strikers that we've been linked with um, from from um, Slavia or, or Sparta. Uh, no, Cyber, come on in. Yeah, the, 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 he plays in Turkey, he's Moroccan, isn't he? Is that, yeah. is that the guy I think you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I'd, I'd rather I'd rather see Moral um, Fosek, if I'm honest with you. They'd be what about just, Armstrong? No, no, mate, you can keep him. He doesn't fit the I'm style of play you. that... He doesn't fit the t- style of play that, that Moyes is going to want him to. And, and to be honest... For the amount of money that Chelsea want for Abraham, Abraham doesn't fit the style of play that um, that we uh, mm-hmm. that we we set up. You know, um, Seema Seema is a is a wider player that plays as a striker, um, so mm-hmm. he naturally pulls out wide, very much like Antonio does. Which then obviously yeah. he's also big and powerful, and, um, and 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 can knock players off the ball and take people on. Uh, again, very mm-hmm. much like Antonio. But significantly younger and with um, significantly better hamstrings. So I'd like to think it's Seema that we're getting coming through the door. Um, whoever Moyes chooses, um, I'm I'm fully behind it. If I'm honest with you, listen, he hasn't let us down so far um, with with the likes. Let's be honest of of um, 
you know, Sufal and Suchek coming in. Um, he, he knows he, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he wants to build, and he knows how he wants to go about it. So, you know, if he brings in uh, the Moroccan fella, fantastic. If it's Timur or or Hlosek next week, um, you know, or, or both. Belenkovic. <laughs> um, I'd, 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 really? I'd, I'd take them both. I have to say just quickly because I've, I've got to shoot off because I've got an interview for a member of staff. <laughs> and it's, it's all exciting. I've got new people wanting to join. Um, West Ham Online, I, I just want to say I absolutely loved your post. Um, uh, wishing uh, Pereira all the best in his retirement now that he's left West Brom. I thought that was fantastic. It did make me um, actually piss myself laughing yesterday morning when I saw that go up. And then the fact that some boat put underneath it, Thorf, I'll go away, mate. Just look on, <laughs> look on Sky for crying out loud. It was there in front of you. But, um, yeah, it, it did tickle me. Um, but on that note, I have got a shoot because I have got this interview. So, uh, you guys have a good day. West Ham Online, enjoy the game this afternoon. Give us um, give us a little bit of a report. I will try and find it on a stream, um, legal or otherwise, later on. <laughs> and see if, uh, well, see if anyone's going to telling it. That's a question that, that Gary's asking. Is it not on the West Ham uh, YouTube channel or Facebook or anything? God knows, mate. But it's, it's, if it's, you'd like to think it would be, but with a, you know, the, the, with the tickets that they want to sell, they're not really going to want to give people the option of watching it for free. So it might be that it's streamed somewhere. But I will, um, I will have a look. Past seven, and on the, Twenty past seven always does the stream sometimes. Yeah, I'd, um, <laughs> he's got. <gone. clears throat> uh, not that I'm, not that I think. But um, yeah, uh, you boys have a good day, and um, I will catch up with you later on. Take care, mate. Thank you. See you Take later. care, mate. Um, mate, mate. Hey, in the chat. Have a good and mind one. that door. Mind that, uh, mate. That door's driving me out the wall. They all know it bangs, yet they bloody let it continue. See you later, <laughs> Brilliant. Take care, mate. So and then there were three. Then there were three. Um, right, we're going to um, move on. So score predictions, gentlemen. West Ham online, I mean, sort of like, I know it's sort of kind of difficult to sort of gauge. You're not too sure what team's going to be put out. So probably doing a score prediction is a little bit unfair. But you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Talk to me. Um, I'm going to go 3-2 to Atalanta. I think it will be a high-scoring game. Um, but they just seem so promising going forward. And if our two centre-backs are Diop and Dawson, Diop, who has the marking of a blind man in an alley, and Dawson, who has the pace of a dead panda, so I'm not too confident for that, that pairing. I'm not even too sure he's as quick as a dead panda, is he? No, he's not. He's he's slow. He's like a snail. A snail machine is how I describe him. Fair enough. Fair enough. So we're going three two away win. Uh, Milesy, what, what again? I know it's an unfair question because none of us really sure what team's going to be put out. And and again, another thing that, that tends to happen in these games is, is that teams, there's wholesale changes, half-time, 60 minutes in, something in that area, which completely changes the, the balance and, and the momentum of, a, of the game for either team. Um, but as I say, I'm going to ask you anyway, score prediction. 2-1 uh, West Ham. Oh, like it. Uh, I said it on Jake's show yesterday. I think Ben Rama and Lanzini is going to score. Oh, I love Ben um, at the moment. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got to play. He's, ben rama has got to play. His confidence is just through the roof at the minute. And yep. what he'd done on training, that was just embarrassing, what he'd done to uh, thingy with a chip over the head. And, so, sorry uh, to just, interrupt, Andy. I just wanted to ask if you guys knew that um, the 22-man t- the, uh, squad, if we had that many, split into two teams at London Stadium the other day and played the training yeah. match. Um, did yeah. you hear about that the 90 minutes yeah did you see the goals did you see yeah, the goals I spoke, yeah I spoke to um, I spoke to some of the players about it apparent well I won't say any names but apparently the score was 3-0 all the goals by Ben Rama and as, as you say the goals were brilliant but apparently he's just looking better than he ever has been his confidence is sky high um, and the player one player did say to me which I put on Twitter um, he should be through the middle. Why he's been playing out wide, they don't know. Through the middle, apparently, he's just looking fantastic. Well, well I said I that was that one. Yeah, I, I said that to everyone, didn't I? He, he looks 
Like even on Instagram when he was doing it, he looked bulk up. He looked stronger. He he, he looks angry. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. when he like, do you, what I mean is like aggressive. He he wants the ball and he he, he just wants to do stuff. And he, he he didn't he wasn't doing that last season. He wasn't. He he's was got a bit a long shot on him, doesn't he as well? Yeah. Do you think he's he's finally been moisified as um to to use Russ Budden's term? Yeah. Uh... I think he's. I think him and Moyes will always have a bit of a difference. Like I imagine when he done that rainbow flicking training and Moyes was foaming at the mouth. But I just want to see him doing some of that. Like he can do it. I don't know why. I feel like he has been treated unfairly by Moyes, which we all know a certain someone is probably loving the way Ben Mar was playing right now. Well, we pay, we pay an awful lot of money for our season tickets and one thing and another. And the one thing that that we absolutely want to to you know, be entertained. Yeah. I don't want to have you know be bored shitless. I want to be entertained. So I, I want to be seeing players with skill and and sh- showing that skill. I mean, the, the I'm, I'm going back a little bit, but do you remember the um the, the first season at London Stadium, the the match against Watford? I know we lost it four two, but we went two nil up, and the the, uh, the cross was a, a, a Rabona from Payet. I mean that that's the sort of skill I want I love to see that sort of thing. I'm not saying you know every minute of every game but you know just a, a piece of skill where you can look at and go my word the the sheer impudence and cheek of that player to pull yeah. that stunt off um you know it, it's yeah. it's that's that's what I want to see I want to see but, Ben Rama doing stuff like that but, but it's not so much that though yeah it's the goal it's the goal against Brentford um, the, he's contributed a few shots. What he's done, especially like what he done in the Celtic game, yeah. it, it's confidence. And when he's striking the ball, they just seem to be hit with such clean and power compared to. I remember the Leeds away. He was very unlucky. Mm. He was just shooting from anywhere at one, but probably only two or three of them were on target. They were close. But now, when he just strikes that ball, it's got power. It's got dip, and he's already celebrating. Do you know what I mean? Do you know like when a player hits a shot? Yeah, he's just got a feeling it's, it's either going to be going in or a good save, and he's a totally different player. And yeah, I think, I f- but maybe, maybe is it because Lingard's not there at the minute? He, he's playing this conference because he knows he's probably going to play. Yeah. Oh, uh, absolutely. As well, apparently as well, they were doing training, and you all know how hard it is to score a free kick. So they do set piece training, and all of the set piece takers, which is Creswell Rice and then Ben Rama and Sue Bell, were taking free kicks. And Ben Rama scored four out of five from about 25 yards. Yes, yeah. they've Are you with us, Jazz? Yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening with interest. Yeah. All really right. I, I wasn't. I wasn't sure if you was sort of like if you if you'd come here, but you turned the camera off and you was um, no, listen, making yourself no, a rum and coke. He sounds rough. He sounds rough. Oh, no, I came home four in the morning, I think. And um, yeah. Oh. So, Talk to me, Jazz. Over, yeah, as soon as it's over, yeah, I'm gonna go go out for full English or get some greasy food down me. But yeah, Ben Rama, what I wanted him to do, which I think he was capable of, is um, I want him to take a big game and dominate it and 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 score and lead it. That that's what I'm looking for him to do this season, really. Um, so yeah, it's taking him time to adjust, but I think the talent is there. He's quite unique. Yeah, he looked. Um, Looks like he's been in the gym, which is which which we kept saying in our videos that he needs to be a bit more strong, a bit more technically guy or more clever. And, and and David, that's what David wanted out of him. You know, maybe at the beginning some people were maybe having a go at David for being too strict on him, but David was always doing it for his benefit, you know. And tough love. And, and good managers know how to get the best out of people, so he needed that. Yeah, bit bit of toughness, um, and he's mm. come back uh, more motivated, and um, and hopefully, yeah, hopefully, he can dominate more more big games and and and, and be the main person for us um, who, who can score a goal, who can he can certainly assist a goal. We know that, but I think he's got more more goals in him than he showed last season. Yeah, and yeah, he'd be like a new signing, um, which we say sometimes. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do if you yeah, do you agree? Okay. Just, do you reckon he looks a bit more bulky as well, a bit more stronger? Yeah, 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 being... yeah, yeah. yeah. Being in the gym, yeah, being in the gym looks more bulky, more muscle on him, and that's what he needed. And um, hopefully, the only thing that was a little bit 
um, missing from his game was that he was losing the ball a bit too much. He's trying to take on too many people instead of, and I think that that's something David's totally against. You know, he wants to retain possession, and 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 you can't always take three, four people on. You've got to just let it go and give it to someone else. So hopefully he's picked that up a bit more in his game. Now you can, you can like Gates. He said we love to see the skill, but there's a place for it. And and if he loses it where he shouldn't, then David David's gonna yeah David's gonna be strict on him. So hopefully he 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 retains possession a bit more and shows his skills. You know where it's required and not lose the ball because he, he did lose the ball a couple of times coming in as a sub and the other team went down the other end and nearly scored and I could imagine David not being happy about that so hopefully he knows to be a bit more clever in possession I think we we all seen in training how technically gifted he is he does all those flicks and drag backs and you know but there's a place to show that and hopefully you learn from that yeah yeah, yeah. No, definitely. yeah, I I think that the the, the, um, the non-signing of Jesse Lingard, which you know that may change, but I think that the the non-signing of Jesse Lingard is probably something that Ben Rama has is going to benefit from because I think that if there was one player last season that was that had a massive obstacle put in their way by the signing of Jesse Lingard, it was Saeed Ben Rama. Yeah. What what are your thoughts on that? Do you think that the that if we don't sign Lingard, that that Ben Rama, you know, very much like what you were saying, Miles, he's it's it's his confidence, isn't it? You know, he's um, you can see that that he's flourishing, and he knows that basically there's there's no one that can that can sort of like take this shirt off of me. But the problem was last yeah. season is that just Jesse Lingard walked through the door, had such an impact, and it 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 was a massive um, block in in his progression. Yeah. Yeah, because because where Lingard Lingard sort of got Lingard had the free role. He didn't make mm. track back every now and again, but he didn't. But like it, now we've swapped places. He knows he's got a four nails, a Rice or a Suchek behind him, where he has to track back a little bit because he'll know that Moyes will take him off. But he's got yeah. that free free role, and that's where you want him. You want Declan Rice is so underrated for for his his, his passing of the ball, and that's what you want. You want Declan Rice picking the ball up giving the ball to Ben Rama on the half turn and with Bowen and Antonio, hopefully a, another striker as well, them yeah. feeding on that, that's going to be breathtaking, mate. Absolutely breathtaking. And four nails is yeah. the key. Everyone, I, 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 I remember a year ago, everyone was saying, why is four nails not in the team? And I don't know about you guys, but he is probably in the top three on names on the team sheet who has to play for, for me. Yeah, I mean, I was on with um, with Peach yesterday, and um, I'll, I'll give him a shout out. If anybody doesn't know what I'm on about, um, go on to YouTube, put in the search bar West Ham Random. Uh, do us a favour, go over there, drop a subscribe on him, hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified of any new content. Peach, you, if you're not familiar with him, he's a West Ham fan. He lives in Canada. Um, his family are from the East End of London, and there he's he's a massive, massive West Ham fan. And yeah, just just go he's over there, old. give him some support. He's he's as he's as mad as a box of frogs, and I know you're watching Peach, and I love you a bit, you but yeah, you yeah. are and you you know you're as mad as a box of frogs, <laughs> and you don't give a shit, and that's what I love about you. Um, don't ever change, mate. Don't ever change. Uh, any update on transfers, lads? Are we are we close to signing anyone? Well, um, from from my information, um. And obviously, you've touched on it earlier, West Ham Online. Obviously, Milenkovic is still bubbling in a way in the background. But West Ham Online seems, to, his information is that it's maybe not as close as people think. Isn't that right, West Ham Online? He's waiting for you, Vaini. Yeah. It is close. It is close. But it isn't, it isn't like... Not as close saying. as... Did you yeah. see them Italian articles? You translate and you say, West Ham have assaulted Milenkovic. I don't know what yeah. Um, yeah, it's close, but it's not. It's I, 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 I can't see no one else coming in for him. I think it is. It's just, it's just, it's just probably he probably wants like a clean sheet bonus for like two grand, and David Sullivan's probably. Winning. No, I'll give you, I'll give you, no. I'll give you nine hundred and fifty-four pound because the other bit needs to pay for my for my dinner or whatever he fucking wants to do. <laughs> um, my dinner. <laughs> but no, um. I, I I can't remember who said it. I think it might have been Gary who said it. Uh, I've had a look as well on Twitter, and it's thinking Diop is favourite to go Leicester now. 
Right? Yeah, I've heard that. Wow. If I'm not being funny, I'm not being funny. Would you would you say that Leicester are a direct competitor to us? Because I'll tell you now, if they are, which I believe they are, there's absolutely no way that we should be selling to a direct competitor yeah, any but, more but, than than a, a Champions League team sells to another Champions League team within the same country. No, well, if they offer forty million, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, but the thing. Uh, is, well, yeah. If you don't rate, the maybe. Money, if you don't rate the update, so you could argue that we're negatively affecting a direct competitor. So it depends on the way you look at him. Possibly, uh, possibly. I, I would take twenty five million. What we paid for him, I'd take it now. I feel like. Mm, I well, think I'd I want a bit more. I reckon we'll sell for ten. Ten. I reckon we're desperate. I think we just yeah. don't, don't care about our assets anymore. I think the. Owners are on their way out next 24 months or so. I think 10 million. I think we don't get anything yeah. for our players ever. Scott Parker, in a, the last one, we got double digits for anyone, I think, a long time ago. J- just winding back, though, to your question, though, Jazz, you're asking about any transfer news. There was one, and we haven't discussed this one. Um, this was according to Sports Lens via the One Football app. Takihiro Tommy Yashu mm. has now been linked. Um, with uh, mm. with us, it, it's he's been heavily linked. He's a Japanese international. For people that don't know, he's he's a centre back for again. Bologna. Yeah, yeah, he's well. It, it says he's been heavily linked with Tottenham yeah. this summer, yeah. but it appears that West Ham and Arsenal have now joined the race. He's 22 years of age. He's a right sided centre back who can also play at full back. Um, Japanese international. Um, yeah, I mean that's that's one more that we've been linked with. I mean, yeah. I I personally sure think it, it's it. probably going to be Milenkovic, but yeah, I'm sure the owners would love that. Um, Gatesy, you know what it's like, sell a few t shirts. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know. I just um, yeah, but what was it as well, Gates? You know, um, we've been linked saw... with him for about a year. This um, Japanese chap, I remember his name being linked to with Tarkowski last season. And right, sorry, my our best mates at footy past the West Ham game today will be posted here around 15 minutes before kickoff, but the but the oh. game will not show up until one one minute before kickoff, like the actual string. Yeah. Yeah. Here's one for you. This this is sort of like regarding the the incoming striker Tuesday Wednesday. Um, and th- his name's popped up again. Eddie and Ketty. Do, do you think it could be him? Oh. <laughs> but, I take but, it you're not you're not a fan. But 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 but, but. apparently he's looked brilliant in pre season. Uh, no. I don't judge a lot of pre season, but I, yeah. I'm Did you see the miss against that that Scottish side? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. He I went round the gatekeeper and missed. No, uh, that's to be fair. I, I got told that um, that was just typical him, so maybe he was just having an off day as usual. But yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Marzi, Marzi, um, any update on Armstrong? Where he's going? I know you keep an eye on him. <sighs> Palace, they, they just keep saying talks. I, I just Duke said he doesn't fit our system, but I just hope it's him. I honestly hope it's Armstrong. He's he's not a starter for us, but he provides a really good option for us on the bench. And then as he and he can play on the wing yeah. as well. Okay, interesting. Okay. Yeah, but you know, David Moyes likes a player with a bit of versatility, don't you? Yeah, like everyone's everyone slags him off. Like he misses like one in four, but you don't score twenty nine goals or whatever it is in the championship for a, an average side if you shit. <laughs> no, I agree. I mean, it's not like he was playing in one of the better teams there, was he? Yeah, but I, I know championship. But I, my a good friend of mine, Aaron Bennett, he's an actual championship journalist. And he says yeah. he mm. really doesn't think he'd... I don't know what it is. I can't say I've watched him. But he says he really doesn't think he'd succeed in the Premier League. Apparently, even though I said this as well, he's got 28 goals, 29 goals, whatever it was. Um, apparently, he misses too many chances. Apparently he's poor in possession. Apparently some Blackburn fans are even sceptical on him. So I, honestly, yeah, his stats are promising. And I don't know what to say about him, but apparently he wouldn't be a success in the prem. I'm not Do being funny. What? Ever, sorry, Casey. Sorry. Everyone said that about Bowen. Everyone said that about Bowen. Yeah. Why are we going in a championship? And look what Bowen's done. 
Yeah, mm. true, true. I mean, I mean, the best finisher at the club, in my opinion. Uh, did you see how mad Bowen's um, stats were in his final championship season? If he would have stayed, he would have easily got... I think he would have equaled Tony's record. Mate, he still finished the top, fi- top in the top five goal scorers in that league yeah. and he left in January. Yeah, I think he... What was it? <laughs> Crazy, that, isn't it? In six months. Yeah. That is mental. I actually think there's another level to Bowen that we've not unlocked yet. Yeah, yeah, he's a good player. Klopp, Klopp, Klopp likes him. Yeah, yeah. He's not going now, is he, Jazz? Surely, oh, God. not well. I, I, I think, like I mentioned, this window, the last few days, week, it's going to be something we haven't seen. It's going to go ballistic. You know, there's a lot of things that are up in the air. Tottenham, Man United, Ross Barclay, Ox, and and Harry, um, Harry Kane, Harry Kane didn't. Jack training in this week, of course, yeah, did he? What it what it was, we were I was having a laugh with some some friends and and I thought it'd be so funny that no one signs him. I would find it hilarious. They'll you know someone's gonna grab I've, I heard Roman Abramovich he, he flew his um, backroom team to to talk to the messy guys and see what happens down there. And um yeah, twenty eight dodgy ankle, dodgy knee. He should have gone two years ago, Harry. He's his own and the worst enemy. You know, hasn't... I'd just say the way it is. I know I hate Tottenham anyway. I don't need an excuse. I don't think Harry's that clever between the years. He should have gone two years ago. And Son signing a new contract with Tottenham. What the hell is that about? The guy is one of the top forwards in the world. Forget Europe. And he... <laughs> they're not even in proper Europe, are they? Yeah. Why is he signing a contract? Yeah. They've got some really, really... Um... Players, I think he must but, yeah. he, he must like their 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 second and third choice kits or something. I, d- I don't know. I mean, you've seen oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely that abysmal. Kids are shocking. What yeah. is that all about? Yeah. That club is internal. Gatesy, have you seen my latest vote? Do you know my GFP out or in? Over a thousand people have voted. So thank you for everyone who's voted. I can't believe how mad this is actually gone. How long is it open for? Another another three days. Three days, and what? Where are we at at the minute? Last time, I think it was about ninety-five percent out. The GSB. A, fa- so a thousand ninety, and um, we're at ninety-four percent. I didn't vote Ooh. because I wanted the third option to say, "Okay, out," but who's coming in? That's why I didn't vote. Out, but who's coming in? So I'm. That is a big. Oh big yeah, question, no. Listen, I yeah, I yeah. want them out, but I you yeah. know it, it was sort of like this this pie capital lot. Like, if it, if it yeah, was a question between. That. Yeah. Having Pi Capital or keeping Doug Gold and Sullivan for another season, I'd, I'd sort of keep them in for another season. Yeah, yeah. Hope, hope for someone with a little bit more about them Bosh. coming down the track. Yeah. yeah. So someone, <laughs> so Bosh, someone, yeah. so someone, so someone this morning tweeted David Gold and went, "Morning, David Gold. Just leaving this here, just an example, of course, but around a thousand volts. You once said that you wouldn't stay when you w- weren't wanted, which is." <laughs> which uh, if eighty six percent of the fan base said you didn't go, you'd leave. In all just respect, sir, it's time to go. Thanks, mate. <laughs> only yeah. only thing with that is that's 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 quite an easy thing to say. I'll walk away, but the problem is, is that he's obviously got a value, rightly or wrongly, on on his shares. Um, yeah, you know, eight hundred million was was Karen Brady's quote, but that was two years ago. Whether that's changed. I don't know, but so let's let's sort of say, well, he's he's rejected a five hundred million pound bid from this pie capital. So okay, he's probably wanting at least minimum six hundred million. Then at a rough guess, and and it may well be that he still wants eight hundred million. So somewhere oh, in that bracket, yeah. he's probably going to sell for. I had Interpol back the rest of the guy, aren't they? Isn't it the latest? Yeah, heard? well. The, the, the Interpol were after the guy that's the, the sort of like the main man at Pi <laughs> Capital, that um, brilliant, brilliant. Nassi Piriev. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, do I want him involved at the club? No. And, and and I said it yesterday, you know, he's a millionaire. He's a millionaire. He's not a billionaire, for Christ's sakes. That's what you need to be, you know, to be a, a, a sort of majority like, shareholder at a Premier League club. You need to be a billionaire, not a millionaire. This time next year, Gatesy. <laughs> oh, don't. Don't. <laughs> Honestly, I'll tell you what, I think that Del Boy would do a better job than um, than Pi Capital. Um, no, I think they've no, gone no, about no. it completely the wrong way. We, we, we should have, five years ago, we should have gave it the trigger, unfortunately, God rest his soul. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Walk into he walked in. He, 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 the state, the, the halls. That is quite tall in the London Stadium, so he wouldn't have hit his head on a mind your head sign. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are we playing? Yeah, back in those days, I couldn't read. <laughs> are we playing? Are we playing Atlanta today? Are we? Is, is, are we playing Atlanta? Atlanta? Yeah. Are any of yeah. you guys going to the game? Or? Nah, yeah. not going. Nah. Uh, West, nah, West nah, I, I, I toyed with the idea, but. In the end, I just went. If we'd bought a couple of exciting signings, I would have gone. I would have gone to see. Do you know what? I I think a lot more people would have gone. I think a lot of people think like you. I think if if we'd have gone out and signed, you know, done Mm. a bit of business and and good business earlier, I think they'd have got another sort of like a couple of thousand on the gate easily. Breaking news, breaking news. Jesse Lingard is set to miss the start of the season. With COVID. Oh, really? Oh, wow, wow. No, he's, he's yeah. never wanted to transfer. <laughs> well, Pereira's, oh, gone. Pereira's gone, hasn't he? It was official, wasn't he, yesterday? He's gone. Oh, yeah, he's, he's gone to Al Hilal. Yeah, wow, we were discussing 25. that. Wow, wow. West, yeah. West Ham online wished, wished him well in his retirement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shocking what decision. A that wow. was. I was always a massive yeah. fan of him as well. It's, Disappointing to see a player waste his career. Yeah, it's a it's a weird one. I mean, well, I say a weird one. It, it, there's only one explanation, isn't there? It's money. I mean, I'm quite sure that when he was growing up in Belo Horizonte back in Brazil, um, he didn't have posters of Al Hilal, and he didn't sort of like dream of winning the Saudi Arabian League Cup when he was it's growing a, it's up. It's a lifestyle, though, against you living in Saudi. You know what you can't you can't do out there. Come on, it's a lifestyle. I mean, yeah, it's weird. You don't, don't do anything, do they? I mean, look at it. It's, no. it's a desert, isn't it? You know? Can't drink. Yeah. You can't go out. There's, you know, it's weird, man. I don't know what the hell. You're I, re- I reckon he'll be back at one of the the major leagues in Europe within within a year at best. He may even be back sure. in the January transfer window. Do you know who surprised me? You ain't come back yet. Is Oscar? Hmm. Yeah, he went. He went on a China, massive contract, China. didn't he? Yeah, China. He plays with Hulk, that same team. I think. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's out there. A few Brazilians are out there in China. Yeah, weird. West Ham online. Um, I've, I think Oscar will be back in next year. But let's be honest, the bloke's already about thirty-one, so his career's done. Yeah, he left ages ago, didn't he? Thirty-one now. Wow. Yeah. Goes another quick. player. He was a Great decent talent. player, though. Yeah, he was well good. He's just to be fair to him. Like, okay, yeah, his family will have all the money. He won't remember his career, so yeah, I don't care about him. Are we? Are we linked with anyone else? Transfers? Are we linked? Any new names? Well, no, 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 no. I mean, I what I just it? looked just there. T- Tommy Yasu, like I say, his name's popped up, and I haven't seen him South really Athens. thus far. Yeah, they're still saying that the Milenkovic deal is close, but they we've got to act quickly because Juventus are sniffing around. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. I tell you who I do want for Phil Jones. Yeah, mm. I want that. I, I, I agree. I agree with Luke from the Free Hammers. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I know he's been injured for the last couple of years. Yeah, but if I had to pick out of him and Cahill, it would have to be Jones. I said that the other night. Yeah. But it was probably just because of their age, though, isn't it? It's probably not for much else. Mm. Yeah. I heard we're linked with that Southampton centre back if things don't change for us. Vestergaard. Yeah, yeah. He's a bit injury yeah, prone, though, as well. Yeah. yeah. Fit right in. Hey ho. But right, I am going to end the stream there, ladies and gentlemen, because I've got I've got things I've got to get on with. So um, those 29 of you, could you do us a favor? Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified of any new content. Don't be don't be shy. Um, If you want to share this particular stream on your social media platforms, you don't need my permission to do that. Get you know, if it's getting us out there, it's getting us, you know, to a bigger audience. If you pop us on your Facebook, your Twitter, whatever. I don't mind. Help yourself. Help yourself. Um, One other thing I'd like you to um, help yourself to, if you would see yourself clear. Um, The usual thing, young Isla, who's in need of treatment for the neuroblastoma. Um, hang on, I'm just going to mute you there, West Ham Online, because I'm getting some... Oh, no, you've done it. It's all right. Fair enough. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, you guys know the score. She's she's struggling with neuroblastoma. This is a, a cancer for which there ain't no treatment in this country. So the family have got to basically raise the funds themselves for the treatment, the transportation, um, all the other costs that are associated with it, um, along with the general bills of everyday life. Um, Guys, they need our help. It's as simple as that. So that banner is in the description below this stream on both YouTube and on Facebook. You can copy and paste it. And again, put this on your social media platforms with a little note as to what it's all about. Um, if you can also put any money in the pot yourself, so much the better. You've got the Just Giving link there. Um, this is a family in desperate, desperate need. So any funds that you can put in that pot whether it's a pound 10 pounds 100 pounds whatever is comfortable for you the family will accept that with a great deal of thanks and love and uh we thank you very much indeed at falls from iron and the, and uh, it's not this is not just a campaign that we're behind i've got to say this is this is something that the entire west ham community both youtube and and various other platforms um we're all behind it we're all behind it, you know, and we, we keep saying that that West Ham are a family. So the, these guys are our family. So let's come together and let's let's help this family out in their hour of need, guys. Thanks very much indeed for listening. Yep. Any final thoughts from you three before we wrap it up? Malzi, any final words? No, just just hope it's a good game. Everyone everyone does well. Um, get get minutes under the well. Obviously, no injuries. We don't want no injuries and. Anyone who goes to the game, if we would love your feedback to let us know what the experience is like so we can compare mm -hmm. when there's double the size for Leicester at home. But no, I hope everyone stays safe and thank you for the new subscribers. Absolutely. And obviously the old Absolutely. people. And, and tell your friends. I, I just, tell your friends. I just, I just want to quickly know what kind of player is Seema? Has anyone seen him play? Will he fit? I mean, I heard he's more like what we already got. He's not really an out and out forward. I don't know. No, no he's not. He's, he's, a, he's a winger, really. So but we don't I think need him, do we? We don't need him, then. I, I think mm. he could be converted. I mean, Thierry, Thierry Henry was a winger. Mm. Is he physical enough, Seema? Is he like Daka or a different player? I, 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 I think... I think he could cope. Okay. I think Fast, pace. Think he could cope. Yeah, yeah, we need pace. Good, good. Yeah, transfers. I'm going to be looking every minute. We need, we need, we need someone in. We're desperate now. Righto. And final word to you, West Ham Online. Um, I don't know what I was to say, to be honest. Um, I was, I just wanted to mention that I heard Daya said that about a medical being booked for Tuesday or Wednesday on a striker. Yeah. Do you have any idea who you think that could be? I, I personally, I'm, I'm thinking either Seema or Armstrong. That's my seven, opinion. There's a seven but million. I'm, I'm keeping my. Yeah. I, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it might even be Tammy Abraham, but who knows? I who think knows? it could be Tammy because they've just really? said it that. I, I nah. think it could be Tammy because they've just said Lukaku's going to Chelsea for ninety three and a half million. Yeah, but did he? Need, weren't he not that keen on joining us? He wanted to wait. Well, up if, for Arsenal. well Arsenal are skin, so he's probably Arsenal. Are pro he's probably heard a couple of people. Oh yeah, we'll have you, and then uh, and then Arsenal are probably not offering silly money. Um, key for more bloody. If they can keep that move quiet, I'll be I'll be pretty impressed. Yeah, like that did you see how quiet the Danny Ings was? My God, I didn't even hear yeah. about it until the announcement. Bang, it was done. Yeah, that's the way to do a transfer, though. Let's do yeah, let's right. do that. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah so, so either Tammy for me or Edward from Celtic, both of yeah. them lovely. Or actually, no, he's not a striker, never mind. <laughs> no, go on, go on. Before we wrap it up, go on. Who was you going to mention? Uh, I was, I was going to. We're say, desperate really for signings. To, I really want to get Dan Juma from Bournemouth. He didn't yeah. play yesterday. Yeah, and it, when I watched him, um, especially against Brentford, he looked so good. His finishes were so composed, and he's. Mm. I watched him against Norwich as well, and he scored from about thirty yards. Don't get me wrong, the Championship, all of that, but um, I think. We need backup either on the wing or in the attacking midfield, and I think he can field a Lingard Royd. I think we should be looking more for a left winger than an He's only 21, isn't he, mate, as well? Um, I'm not actually sure. I'll check now if you want. I wonder how, I wonder how Luca Tony will do this season. I want to keep an eye on him this season. I'll be interesting. Mm. Mm. Go on. What, what, what have you found, West Ham Online? Anything? Uh, the on. thing is, I can't, I'm trying to find it on Twitter because I can't come off 
my Google because is it, is, it, is it too early for a kebab? I need a kebab. I think Miles. I think Miles is looking as well. He's, he's on his phone. He's he's sort of punching away. Miles, he ordered me a kebab. Order me a kebab what, and chips. Just eight, yeah. It's 12, yeah, I need. It's eleven I need in the morning. Twenty four. Uh, Twenty four. I'm gonna have a shower. I'm gonna go out looking for naughty food. I need. I need some greasy food. Right. Oh, you should I'm get, gonna get, get mixed up, Don't start. Don't anyway, start. final word. It's all about Ben Varma. We love him. Good lad. I tell you what, he's, he's going to have a good. He's going to have a good season. I really yeah. hope he does. But yeah, anyway, yeah. right, we're going to wrap it up there, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. As I say, stay safe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Drop a like on the video. Um, put the stream on your on your social media platforms. Recommend it to your friends. And we're going to finish off with Milesy. We are fucking sausage, massive. Sausage. We are the rest of us. Come, come on, you on. Come on, you guys. Stay safe, guys. Find someone. <laughs> <laughs>